This video is brought to you by E10 Marin. Thank you for being a farm baron. Hello everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at a new mod that just came out for PC players called Headland Management. Now hopefully this video will clear some things up for you on this mod because when it first came out and I read the description, I was a little bit confused as to possibly what it might do. Now let's read the description and work through this. Headland management for tractors, field sprayers, mowers, and harvesters. With headland management, functions of vehicles can be combined and activated together at the touch of a button to simplify turning maneuvers when working in a field. All functions can be activated and deactivated individually for each vehicle via a GUI to achieve ideal adaptation to the work currently being carried out. Headland management system must be added once to the respective vehicle in the shop before it can be used. Cost is $3,000, and we're gonna take a look at that here in a little bit. It can be activated and deactivated on the vehicle with the key Shift X. Alternatively, different buttons can be used for activation and deactivation if you should so wish. The Graphical user interface or GUI can be pulled up by Shift Control X. What does this thing do? This thing has the ability to reduce your cruise control speed and increase it again as you are turning. It can lower and raise implements. Turn the plow in a single stage or in multiple stages. You can raise and change ridge markers and disengage and re-engage PTO and hydraulics, i.e. turn on and off the implement. And you can have an audible beep sound when headland management is used. Additionally, are some integrations with other mods. Use the vehicle control add-on mod, then it can activate and deactivate the GPS track guidance and engage and disengage the differential locks. If you use the guidance steering mod, then it has the capability of deactivating and reactivating the guidance steering on it. And if you use the speed control mod, then speed adjustments are also possible by changing the cruise control level. Now let's go ahead and look at this thing in game. So I've got a case set up here with this particular mod already activated. And what we do is we go to left shift, left control, X, and we get the graphical user interface. So you can see here, we can turn on and off speed control settings. So we can have it slow down our tractor when we are turning, or we can just leave it as it is. We can tell it to lift or not lift our implement start and stop or GPS steering because I do have guidance steering enabled. We can have it auto detect which GPS mod we have installed or we could tell it which one we have installed manually. We can have it turn the plow in two steps. Don't turn. Full turn which just means one whole process of turning where it has two steps it will turn it to the middle and then when we Deactivate it, it will turn it to the other side. We're going to demonstrate that. Working speed in the headlands, five. We can change that to whatever we want. Stop and start the PTO, i.e. turn it on and off the implement, yes or no. Change the ridge marker, yes or no. And auto alert when active. And then we hit OK to save our settings. Now, let's go ahead and see this thing in use. I'm going to turn it on, lower it down, and off we go. We have guidance steering enabled, so we're going to go ahead and lock in our course. Just like that. Go ahead and do auto it. No offset. So there we go. Now, we're going to see what happens when we get to the end of this particular field. What we're going to do is we're going to hit Shift-X, and that is going to start 
headland management. When it does that, we should see it raise the ridge marker. We should see it raise the cedar. We should see in the F1 menu, or above it, we should see it deactivate the cedar. Our cruise control will shift from 32 to a lower level. We're going to be able to make a turn, and then we're going to turn it off, and we're going to see it all basically change back. You can see our ridge marker moved. We've raised the cedar. We've slowed down our cruise control speed. Once we've managed to make our turn, we're going to do shift X. And it has lowered the cedar, turned it back on, and moved our ridge marker all with one keystroke of shift X. Let's see that one more time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do shift X. We are now in headland management mode. We are turning our cedar. Once we've managed our turn, shift X. It's going to engage GPS, lower the cedar, turn it on, and move the ridge marker over if we have that set. So that is pretty slick, if I say so myself. Now. Let's see this work with a plow. So here I've got a Dutzfar with the big Lemkin plow. I'm going to turn that on, drop the plow down, and off we go. We're not going to bother with guided steering on this one, but I did want to demonstrate the turning of the plow. So Control Shift X, we have this set to full turn. So when I do shift X, what we're going to see is it's going to raise the plow. It's going to rotate the plow and then we're, while we're turning. And then when we're done our turn, we're going to do shift X. We're going to drop the plow down and we're going to be able to go back the other direction. So here we go. Shift X. It is now turning the plow. You can see now we are turning at three miles an hour. I don't know if you paid attention to the cedar, but it was turning at six miles an hour. So all of these settings are vehicle specific. Of course, you can turn that beeping off if it does annoy you. You can also see in the F1 menu, it says headland management active. Once we've finished our turn, shift X. We're gonna lower the plow. We've already done our turning of the plow and we're going back the other direction. So shift control X to get into the menu. I'm going to turn this to turn in two steps. That annoying thing off. And we're going to bump this speed up to 10. This seems to be kilometers per hour, not miles per hour. But it does not seem to take, take into consideration your uh, unit of measurement. So we're going to hit OK. And this time... When I do shift X, it should do a partial turn. And then when I turn off headline management, it should finish the turn for me. Shift X. And now we are going at six miles per hour. See, it has turned it to the center position. And once I feel that I have negotiated my turn, I can do shift X again. It will finish the turn. It will lower the plow. And there we go. So guys, that is the basics of how headland management works. Go to the shop and see how we configure a vehicle with it. Go to the new Holland T6. And you can see we have a new configuration option in the shop called headland management. Not installed. Installed adds $3,000 to the price. Use the odd guidance steering. Then you know that we have the global positioning system here. You can activate it or turn it off for a vehicle. Same thing goes with headland management. That's going to work with any powered vehicle. Go to potato harvester, add it. Go to additional harvester. You can add it. Forage harvester, 
we can add it. I think you get the point. So guys, that is headland management. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this particular mod. Did you see this mod show up in the mod hub and were you confused by the description? Did this video help you out at all? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, happy farming.